July was a surprisingly busy month for the auto industry. While some big reveals were scheduled in advance, other surprises were in store for car shoppers to consider. In addition, automakers announced they're killing off several long-standing model lines, showing that the industry is shifting quickly as we prepare to enter a new decade. Ford put on quite the show this month by inviting journalists to witness a prototype F-150 electric pulling numerous train cars. Inside those cars were more trucks with the total weight exceeding 1 million pounds. While an obvious PR stunt, it got people talking about the upcoming electric pickup truck. BMW unveiled the cheaper and less powerful 840i models for 2020. They used the twin-power 3.0-liter inline-six engine with 335 horsepower, which translates to a 4.7-second 0-60 with rear-wheel drive. Both a coupe and convertible 840i will be available, as well as xDrive models. Just don't get your hopes up for a manual transmission, because the Steptronic Sport Automatic is standard no matter what. Leave it to Hennessy Performance to make yet another crazy truck. While it already has the Velociraptor 6x6, GM fans wouldn't be caught dead driving that. So it created the Goliath 6x6 using the Chevy Silverado. An extended bed, extra axle, six-wheel drive, 37-inch tires, and a price tag of $375,000. Understandably, production will be limited. With the German automaker preparing to give people what they want, Volkswagen will stop offering its slow-selling wagons like the Golf Sport Wagon and Alltrack. It's a sad but understandable move that will clear the way for the Atlas Cross Sport later this year, the ID Buzz in early 2020, and an unannounced third subcompact crossover by 2021. It's been rumored for some time, but we've finally seen the Lotus Avaya, the first vehicle from the British automaker since it was purchased by Greeley. The Avaya is mind-blowing, with 1,972 horsepower and 1,253 pound-feet of torque on tap. The design includes a carbon fiber chassis, an F1-style drag reduction system, and an active rear spoiler. At a time when cars are looking far too similar, the Avaya is a breath of fresh air. It was with an eerie silence that the Porsche Taycan prototype sped through the course at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in England. Mark Webber piloted the electric car with ferocity, while the crowd was also quite silent. This moment gave us a good look at what Porsche plans to use in response to Tesla's onslaught, and so far, it's impressive. It took Roush to knock the Dodge Ram SRT10 off the pedestal as the quickest production pickup truck. The Nightmare F-150 charged from 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, but there's a problem. Not everyone is agreeing that this Roush is a production vehicle, considering it's really a modified Ford F-150. Still, Roush isn't backing down to its claim of the title, and everyone has an opinion about that. Fiat Chrysler has decided it's the end of the road for the Dodge Grand Caravan, which really isn't a surprise. While minivans aren't exciting, the Grand Caravan offered a cheap and spacious mode of transportation for families. It will be replaced by the Chrysler Voyager, which is essentially the lower trim levels for the current Chrysler Pacifica. With a starting price of just $26,985, it's the budget-friendly three-row vehicle for 2020. Another fatality to the popularity of crossovers was the Volkswagen Beetle. As an automotive mainstay for decades, the end of the road for this iconic car is understandably traumatic for many people. The final 2019 VW Beetle rolled off the assembly line in Mexico and will be displayed at the VW Museum in Puebla, if you happen to be in the neighborhood. Now the plant that made Beetles will begin production on a new small SUV. The whole world already knew the C8 Corvette was going to be a mid-engine layout, but that didn't stop the excitement surrounding the big reveal on July 18th. With 495 horsepower for the base model and a dramatic design, people will be buzzing about America's sports car for some time, making it the top automotive news story for July of 2019. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe for more insider car news videos.